Hello, Gilders. Welcome back. I am just trying to uh, get this little dainty game rolling. And, um, yeah. So we're going to jump over to Stream Daddy. Get to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, 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 you're right. We'll get some work done, and then we'll check out the area out. I'm very lazy. My house is pink. I have a cool daughter. Who apparently is good at martial arts and destruction. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. Man, all that... I could really go for a sandwich. Yay, sandwich! An ice cream sandwich. Yes! Oh, ice cream sandwiches. Yes. Uh... Puppies! Okay, now, something you need to know. I'm... V I, uh... Yeah, I do the same thing. I yell, doggy! Puppies! Yeah, um, back in the day, these types of games were books called Choose Your Own Adventure. And at the end of the page, it would say... To do A, turn to page 12. To do B, turn to page 32. I died a lot. I was very bad at those. Hey, it's a dog! Wait, false alarm. This is a funny shape rock. The best rock ever! Yes, let's go to the park. Because I like puppies. Moving pictures is hand down. Grow your own vegetables. It's cheaper than you think. A man and I stroll the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street. Flowers are in bloom. And the faint smell of nearby barbecue drifts through the air. Mmm, it's making me hungry. This place is nice. Too nice. I don't trust it. Yes, this is how Poltergeist started. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroller over there? Government operative. We're on to you, baby. This would be me as a dad. This would straight up be me. We walk for a while and even end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other around through the playground, giggling. And dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Owie! A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Dog goes, woof! <gasps> corgi! Corgi! Hit the corgi! Hey, baby, it's a corgi! There's a corgi! Hello, corgis! Hi, corgi! Hi, corgi! Douche! Hi! How are you? Corgi! A corgi with a corgi and a corgi gets the of the corgi! I like corgis! Hi, corgi! A corgi with a neat plaid uh, handkerchief tied around his neck bounds up to me, wagging his tail! Hi, corgi! Hello! Arf, arf. I'ma pet you! He runs around the circle and touches my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Yes! Corgis are the cutest dogs. Pet the dog! But where do I pet the dog? Dare we try butt pats? Head rubs. He seems to love a good head rub. All smiles here. Yay! You definitely could have caught that. Hi, big cuddly bear daddy. I think you're going to be the daddy that I'm going to go after. Because you have your cuddle little, little bull. You're fully for cuddles. And you've got a corgi. So. 
Just to let you know, you're going to have to compete for my affection with the corgi. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to talk to us and takes the frisbee from me. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands and not your face. I thought they were caught with your teeth! I'm going to steal it. <laughs> I'll try to catch it with my teeth next time. Yay! I think I did good. Ha ha. I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. Hi, Brian. Can I play with your beard? I'm Ferret, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda only to find her sitting on the ground rubbing the dog's tummy. That's my job! Puppy! Your dog's cool. Dog is awesome! Ah, uh, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another uh, father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Yay! Where's yours? Brian Jess is over to Grashin over. A young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She is reading a book bigger than her head, and she puts it down and heads over to us. That sounds like me, too. I, I did a lot of reading. Hi, Daisy! You're cool! Want to play video games? She's reading the Brothers Karmaski Skas de Fosti. Karmagash. Ki Fosh. De Ruske. Da. Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension of skills of a high schooler. Yay! She's adorable. How old is she? Ten! She's a precious little youngster. She has a boobable nose, just to let you know. My natural dad instincts kick in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no, it's happening! Wait, what? What's going on? What the hell? Brian, go on, Daisy. Tell him about yourself. Um, what the hell's going on? Uh, I I'm right there with you, Daisy. That's my girl. Ferret. Amanda, get in there. I'm treating my daughter like a Pokemon? Okay, this is really freaking random. Uh. Brag. Yay! Wow, congratulations. Brian loses 10 hit points. Daisy actually just won the statewide poetry. Do I have to beat him to date him? Or do I need to throw the fight and prove my submission? Statewide poetry contest. Cool. Ow! I'm not. I'm, I'm down by five. Can't switch daughters. Amanda is your only daughter. <laughs> Brag. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped with an old woman with her grocery bags. That's extra powerful. Brian loses 20 points. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's president too, of course. Ow! <laughs> Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. Owie! Okay, well that wasn't too bad. Haha, <laughs> he's down by five. Item. Uh... Child art. Um. Aha. You're on for your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a corner copy of a uh, Amanda did in the first grade. Brian, cute! It is a very impressive point. <laughs> Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Ow! Yay! Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize. A canoe! We're taking it out next weekend. I like the canoe! Take me canoeing! How is that even possible? Amanda could barely keep one of those rickety hands straight. Ow, oh, it's extra. Oh, God. Okay. Haha. -ha. He's still down by five! No. Fifteen. I can't math. Ah! Um. You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last great copy out of your pocket. 
Meta Dad! Awesome grades! Brian loses 25 HP! You really carry around that everywhere? Yes! Maybe that's kind of weird you lose 25 HP. Ouch! Mando was potty still cute, but maybe this is the time to bring it up. Ow! Uh, Amanda's in all honors class this semester. Yes! Ha, ha Oh, really? I'm actually taking, uh, date, talking to date about her having her skip a grade. Ow! Matt kind of br bristles at that one. You lose 20 HP. Oh, God. All right. Let's finish him off with the brag, or maybe an item. A few months back, Amanda started volunteering at the homeless shelter in our old neighborhood. Yep, there he goes. I've got him on the ropes. He's at negative five. Well, you two seem to have a good, such a good relationship. It warms my heart. Arg, why did he have to be such a good loser? So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. We just moved in. Do you live around here? Yeah, we live in that uh, cul-de-sac next to the coffee shop. What a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Ooh, yay! Small world. Daisy and I are in that little ranch-tiled house in the corner. Of course you are! I know that house. It looks just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscape. Does this guy have to outdo me in everything? Yes! He is clearly the bear dominant in this relationship. What a lovely place. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. It's really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye! Brian Daisy walked further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along in tow. Bye, puppy! Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? Yes, trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid is only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit, bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't plan out. <laughs> Horse creative writing. Let us know. <laughs> Fantastic adventures of George Washington the Brave. A epic in seven parts by Amanda Sweetcombs. <laughs> we laugh off the horse epic talk and walk away. Park a little bit more enjoying the day. Let's go unpack. Yeah, don't want to sleep on the floor. To get work unpacking the various boxes around the living room, a couple of hours pass and I get some t get some good work done. Yay! The washer and dryer's unit is both washing and drying, and we can actually walk around the living room without tripping over boxes. A visitor already? I walk to the door and open it. Hello? Hi! A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookie. Cookies. Hello? Cookies? Joseph! Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Ha, ah, yes, hi. I'm Ferret. Uh, that, uh, what my, uh, that's what my name is. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter, Christy, wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Yay! Joseph leans in and whispers. Between you and me, she just sprinkled on the chocolate chips. You are after your cologne smells lovely. We both share a laugh. Kids, right? Wow, cookies. Uh-oh. My cookies. Back off. I'm too skinny. I need to pop up. So nice to meet you. Joseph just hands her a plate of cookies with a smile. Well, thanks for the cookies. No! She's disappearing with my cookies. Amanda Caban! She's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Daughters are tough. 
Sons are also tough. I'm noticing a lack of sons in this. Just daughters. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, uh, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try and raise more than two. I have four kids. Awesome. Open mouth, insert foot. What have you done? Oh, uh, I meant... He just groaned in my ear. I liked it. And on that note, I'm going to end the episode here. All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is a really fun game. For some reason, I treated my daughter like a Pokemon. I don't know why. But anyways, uh, catch you in the next episode. Bye. Pro play. Pro play. Pro play. No. That didn't happen. <sighs> Snake, there are lasers. Well, it's something you should have brought to my attention yesterday.